All right, Sedge, I got a question for you. Go ahead. I need to do wider cross cuts. Okay. And um, I have my MFT, but I'm going to get past that 27 inch mark. I'm actually doing 32 inches. Yep. Okay. okay, so you need to do a 32 inch wide cross, wide cut, cross cut on that yep. plywood. Okay, fantastic. By the way, this is a very common question, and we're going to cover it in this video. All right. There's a couple things also we're going to cover in here. When we set this up previously, you see these factory set stops? Yep. Okay, that's what we put our um, rail holders up against, okay? But sometimes you buy a used one and they're not in there. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up and set it this way. We're gonna set it up this way, an alternative way of setting up the MFT3. Awesome. Okay, so on this, cross cut this way, you, you're, a lot of the times that's more than enough, it's 700 millimeters, but you're saying you needed 32, 32 inches. inches yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up on this orientation. And with your uh, track bar, you most likely have the 1400 rail. Yes, sir. Which is basically a 55 inch. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up on this orientation. Now, in the previous videos we've done, we've um, set our rail pieces right here up against the stops first and then connected the rail right on this we're gonna do a little bit different we're gonna uh, set this one up on here you'll see this in a minute okay okay so the first piece we're gonna put on Big D is the um, the connection point to the aluminum extrusion that goes on the rail that has the hinge pad right here is a steel key and we're gonna slide it on into the groove just like this and I'll, I'll set it right about here so we have a maximum cross cut capacity and we're gonna tighten these nuts right here okay or these okay. screws any guess of what size that is five millimeter and that's why right here I always have my five millimeter <laughs> okay so we're gonna, we're gonna tighten that up and I'll just, on this one, we'll put a little bit of oomph to it. Just like this. And then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna go like this. Okay, then what we'll do is we gotta make sure that this is locked down and I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take it like this and I'm gonna slide it in here like this. Bring that little notch up. And I'm gonna bring it into a rough, and I'm gonna say rough orientation right here. Now, can you hand me those two little dogs I have over there? I wanna talk about this because I see people setting things up like this. Okay. And always remember, when you put a dog in here, I don't care if it's really tight on that 20 millimeter hole, over time these wear out ever so slightly. Sure. These are what I call a rough adjuster, and I'm gonna put it in here like this. I'll have you put one in down there. Okay. I will never rely on this to be square. Go ahead and put that up against there, okay. okay? I am going to tighten this screw here underneath to get a good shot of that, Chris, right there, and then I'll lock it down. And then what I'll do, let me just make sure that that's up against there. Yep. When I lock it down, now what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna put this little pin and make sure it seats in there and then lock it down. And I'm just gonna come in here, Chris, if we can get down in here to do this. I'm gonna slide it in, put this up here like this. Okay, and if we can get this, I'm gonna bring it in so there's no tension and I'm up against the stop, see that? Nice. I'm gonna make sure it's up in there. I'm gonna lock this, but now I'm gonna tighten that knob. I will not rely on that being square. Where I'm going to square it like I've done every time is right here. But what's nice about this, this gives us that rough adjustment so when I set that down I'll have that cross cut capacity awesome so there we go we have that the next two pieces we'll put on these okay and I like to orientate it fairly close right here and I'm gonna slide this on right like this okay now the only thing you're gonna have to have when you do this is a long arm Hey, I got two of those. You got a good reach. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so the next piece we're gonna do, but first before we put this on, we have to lift the fence up ever okay. so slightly. So I'm gonna lift this one up like this, and I'm gonna have you lift that up, but make sure the pin remains in there. Okay. Good? Yep. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this in. You don't wanna put it out here because you don't wanna cut it, but I always put it. I usually go about two knuckles in underneath that way there if you tilt the saw to do a 45 you're beveling that piece gotcha you'll be okay and now I'm going to tighten it here 
I'm gonna loosen it here, and always remember, see those detents? Everything's tight on here, right? Including this knob here. Remember the three knobs I told you about? Yes, sir. Always make sure it's sitting down in zero. Now let's get the rail clamp over there. Beautiful. Okay, and as I do this, go ahead and put your uh, um, deflector on. Okay. For your rail, you'll have a perfect setup. Now, when I put this piece on, oh, you got that? Yep. When I put this piece on, I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna nestle it in the back. I'm not putting any forward pressure. What I always do is I lock this down first and then I loosen this. So what we're gonna do is the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the squaring process. Okay. Or we're gonna check for square. I'm gonna bring it down here and you're gonna take that and make sure it's even. And then I'm gonna grab my square and we're gonna check it right here. Make sure the pin's in there, make sure it's up a little. There, good, it's in line. Okay. Okay, the pin's in there, no movement. No movement. Now we're gonna check it. That is why, see that little space in there? Mm -hmm. That is why I don't rely, rely on the holes, or more so, the dogs. Because there will be play over time in there, and these are old tops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the squaring process now. All right, let's do it. Okay, so a couple of things I wanna verify. We know it's out of square, yep. right? But let's make sure that that pin is pushed into zero. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen it here just to check if I hadn't inadvertently put too much pressure forward, which I okay. knew I did. So there you go. Now, let's take our eyes out of it, and I think you know this trick. I like to take really good shim stock right here and use these CADs just like this and bring it in like this. And you can see, look, it's tight here, and boy, is it loose here. So what you wanna do is take that five millimeter hex key <laughs> okay, and here's your adjustment. And I'm gonna lose, I'm not gonna take them out. I'm just gonna take and loosen it just enough and you'll see how this, look at this. Look how that comes right in. Wow. This is tight, this is tight. Now, I'm going to take this, I'll lock the rail clamp or the fence clamp back in and then I'll tighten this down. I will verify it's tight there, it's tight there. And I'll come back here, I'll look at my cursor, I'll lock it in, lock it in. Um, and then, just because, I'll lock it in. Lock it and in. And there baby. you go. <laughs> so that is how, and right now you will be guaranteed a 90 degree cross cut here. That's the only awesome. thing I'll mention is this, is make sure that you have support for your material here and here, but, if you set it up like this, you don't have to have that super long an arm. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Hey, let's check uh, some of the capacities. Now, I could have moved that back a little bit further, but now look at our capacities. I'm around 940 millimeter crosscut capacity. I could bring it back ever so slightly, probably get a thousand millimeter crosscut capacity, or an Imperial, 39 and a half inches. So there you go. Awesome. Hopefully this helps, this alternate way of setting up and if you lose your factory set stops, you can use dogs to reset it, but always remember that squaring feature on the angle unit. Yep. So as we always end these, be positive, stay shy.